Welcome back for another video and as you can see we've got another gas turbine project to show you. And uh, what I'm going to do is um, show you how we've managed to try something a bit novel in getting this engine to run. And that's using a, a winch motor as a starter motor to power up this Turbomeca Termo 4D. Right, so I've had this um, engine actually for a few months, but it's been sitting in the garage, not really done that much with it um, until recently. And this is from a, uh, a Puma helicopter, a uh, bit of a lump of a thing. It's about 1,575 shaft horsepower when it's at full tilt. So quite a, uh, quite a big engine. So one of the problems that we have with uh, <clears throat> sort of gas turbines that we've sort of acquired to ground run, especially the, certainly with the with regards to the uh, XMOD stuff like this one, is the starter motors. Now the starter motor usually uh, is regarded as part of the airframe, so when you acquire one of these engines, what normally happens is that the starter motor is never there. Which is a real pain because they're difficult to get hold of and unless you've got the, the complete manual with all the part numbers uh, if you go to your local uh, aviation spares they're not interested unless you've got a part number so it makes really life very difficult to try and get one of these things up and running so what we've done here is something a little bit different and used a basically a very large starter motor uh, not starter motor, a winch motor and the beauty of these things is that they're reversible and they'll and they're certainly meaty enough to spool the engine up to you know a suitable speed for for lighting it up so that's actually what we've done here and uh, you know as I mentioned being reversible you know you can use one of these on just about any engine providing you're prepared to do the uh, uh, machining to mount to uh, adapt the starter motor into the gearbox which is what we've done here and uh, I must give acknowledgement to my friend Andrew Phillips from Cross Engineering who uh, has done a fantastic job and uh, can highly recommend them if you're interested in trying to sort out a problem with a starter motor and a gas turbine engine so there we go anyway moving on down that's what I've done so far everything else here is pretty standard uh, I will show you the inside of this box in a minute which is the starting arrangement and we've got a control box there with all the usual instruments uh, RPM and uh, TGT the oil pressure I'm measuring directly off the engine with a separate gauge so there you go, that's the uh, Turbo Mecha Termo. And what we'll do is we'll try and crank it up. It's, it's a little, this engine's a little bit uh, temperamental at the moment. The, uh, the fuel system, as you can see there, unfortunately doesn't self-govern particularly well. So it should idle about 50-60%, which it's not doing. So I'm having to sort of switch it off. The engine speed slowly seems to climb. So there's a governing issue there, which I'm going to have to source out. But the rest of it more or less works. It leaks oil a little bit hence the uh, there is a bit of an oil leak there which is coming from the fan which is going to the oil cooler that uh, might be something to sort out but it's something we're thinking tolerable at the moment just for sort of starting it up so there we go okay in this little box here we have the starting arrangement so we've basically got just two big relays and a starting resistor or soft start resistor just reduces the current going to the starter motor or the winch motor and uh, once the um, after a few seconds that relay or that resistor is shorted out by the other smaller relay and uh, so the full power full current applied to the to the motor it doesn't seem to make a big difference actually this motor sort of spins more or less about similar sort of speed no matter where, whether that resistor's in there or not but uh, it does sort of um, does sort of help the, the it's quite a good idea to have one of these because otherwise you may end up snapping shafts and things like that because these these motors can uh, 
develop quite a bit of torque. So that's what we've got. Close that back up again. If I can, there we are. That's it. So hopefully we should be ready to give it a bit of a run. Okay. see um, <clears throat> it's certainly possible to fire up a jet engine using a winch motor so if you've got a, a gas turbine engine where you're really scratching your head where to find a starter motor for uh, the winch motor is actually a good uh, good option and uh, they can, you can pick these things up off eBay they're not too expensive about 150 pounds I was lucky with this one it was it seemed to be a surplus one and I got it for 60 quid compared to you know, maybe up to a thousand pounds for um, <clears throat> a second-hand original starter motor. So it's definitely, definitely worth doing. The other problem we've had with this engine, as you saw from the um, the run that we did, uh, it's still not quite right. The uh, the governor is not working. Uh, we're going to have to sort that out because it's sort of slowly accelerating. It's not, uh, it's not sort of uh, hovering at an idle speed as yet. So uh, I think there's still a bit of work to do on this, and hopefully we'll try and get it uh, tame it, tame it down a little bit. So they say. Anyway, that's all from the uh, Walgar Test Facility, the WTF, and catch you again soon.